What's up you guys? My name is DJ and today we are at the Secret West Warehouse. I can't tell you guys where it's at, but I'm telling you right now there's some dope stuff in here. And my man right here, he done took the game to a whole nother level and we're about to see and learn about every single thing today. Come on, let's get it. Welcome back to the channel. If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash the like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. With all that being said, we got to talk about some shoes today. Joe, tell us about the spot. All right, so this is our new um, warehouse up in Portland. Just moved it from Eugene, now triple the size of the last one, so we got some more room to work with. Well, let's start uh, at the end of the warehouse. We got a bunch of shoes over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, over here. Well, I guess we could start over here. So. Here we have some leftovers of the last release, kind of scattered around. Um, this one was the Bel Air Jordan 5. This guy, these didn't do so hot, so that's why we're stuck with them, but. Which, we'll, we'll talk about that in another video about how the whole flipping process works. Sometimes you can't hit on everything, right? You can't win on no, them all. No, you can't. But it's yeah. okay, because that's a part of the process. What you got over here? Um, it's the same shoe, just men's. Adult yeah. sizes. Yeah, these ones are, going out we just found a buyer but they're here for a few more days so when it comes to this shoe in particular how many pairs did you purchase we got a whole stack right here a bunch of kids pairs over here yeah 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 between kids and men's i got like 1500 pairs wait a minute already moved out around a thousand of them and this is like the last 500 okay and that turnaround time is roughly it, it's out within a week of the release about a week mission. okay yeah. so every week there's stuff dropping yep. new coming in new going out each and every week it's always coming so like changing you can't just see something for him and then expect to come in and get it because it's probably going to be gone mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. i like that so we got stuff moving talk about this wall what's the concept behind this right here exposing all the shoes is this kind of one off yeah 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 this particular section is kind of mixed but for the most part i would say it's nike basketball okay and you can see some Kyrie, kobe lebron um and although we're not like a store when we're pulling our inventory we can see what the actual shoe is so instead of looking for that number on there instead we're just looking for what the shoe looks so gotcha it makes it that much easier in the finding process this in particular i don't got the display up but this is the next percent shoe got a good amount of these i like the running running stuff that does well have some other styles here orange box not just the hype stuff but also what can just make some money you know anything that's got a dog i mean this is like about as garbage as you can get <laughs> Free run 2018, still something in there. Just gotta find out the right price. Right. So when it comes to you, I see you got some racers on. Yep. Chilling, big chilling. Mm -hmm. The dailies. The typical go to right? Yep. A lot of people see you rocking all these, or see you posting all these dope shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you're like, I need some comfy shoes. Yeah, no, nah, these are these are the these are the dailies. I love flying trainer. So when it comes to like your three rotation sneakers, what would those be? Um, these guys. Uh. Air Force and then like a Jordan launch. Okay. Can't yeah. go wrong all, with that. All simple, classic. simple classics. Classic. Yep. Okay, what we got over here? I see you kicking it old school for me. Yeah, I like yeah, this yeah, right yeah. here. So we got, these are all four and five and a half um, shocks because we got, ooh, uh, <laughs> got all of these for like $20. So fire. Too cheap to pass on. Fire. Sometimes you just gotta buy stuff just because. Yep. This wall is just like scattered. Yeah. All types of stuff. Yeah. Where's the organization? Is it, it's clearly not by brand or type of shoe. Is it by size? What, how do you have it organized? Yeah, so this is all of our like hash stuff. So stuff that we find on like the back wall of an outlet or the box gets damaged after like us trying to ship it out or us taking it in somewhere. Gotcha. So this is the stuff that's like not completely brand new stuff. So we just got it kind of all mixed in. So you um, got your own hash wall. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, basically we got some, Six, six rows of hash. Oh, we got some stuff over yeah, here. All wrapping around. Hash wall finds. Yup. <laughs> yep. These used to hit for a lot of money yes, at one point. Yes, they did. Oh, wow. Jeez. So I see you got some 13s over here. Mm -hmm. I need these right here, bro. I, I ended up with a size 11. I mean, what's up? Can we like work a trade out or something? Yeah, trades, trades in smaller sizes is always fine. 13 usually hits for a little bit less so exactly. that, that works out perfect it's great for him you know what i'm saying it's a win it's a win-win yeah. so on this wall it's uh just kind of one-offs and different random things you got your highs and your lows 
what is the what's the kind of purpose behind this one? Are you trying to add more to these, or are these like you sold all the other ones? You just had these over extra, or what? Um, this is just like it happens to be we don't have. It's kind of our last pairs of these, so uh -huh. we just recently condensed all of our shelves. So gotcha. all the singles are all displayed at the top, and then like we usually got a little bit more volume of like these are just still sitting together. Size 13s, just chilling. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Sometimes it's a benefit being wearing a size 13. Okay, so we got more Jordans down this aisle. Yeah. We got some big ass sizes right here. Yeah. You still take pride in copping the big sizes, the boats. Bro, whatever, whatever makes the dollars. Yeah, um, gang. So when you got a shoe like this, you're assuming the value's gonna go up over time. Yeah. So you just gotta give it a little bit more right, time. Right. I just know with retros, pretty much any of them go up over time. So right. when I can and when it makes sense, like yeah. these two, I'm just gonna hold on to for a few extra months. So this is something you wouldn't like post as available. No. And then you will wait and be like, all right, now it's available. I got it. Yeah, yeah. I'll post it probably by Christmas or so. That's okay. what I do with a lot of the shoes. So more of the long term play. It's yeah, not always yeah, a quick, yeah. uh, quick flip. Yeah, there's some. I'm trying to switch it. I got you. I got you. So on this back wall, another bunch of J's right here. Yeah. So these are more of our like high end holds. So like Jordan ones. We got Black Cat fours, twelves, Shy threes. All all the recent releases that we get a few extra of. Like I just try to hold on to. The these are all the five. Like, yeah, those are all the grapes. We got a lot of extra of those. So. I think these should have been worth more from the get-go. Yeah. Yeah, they just didn't really hit as good as the OG as usual. Right. But. Satin joints, you think these are going to go up over time? Yeah, definitely. Those ones I didn't sell any, I didn't get that. I mean, this is all I got though, so I'm just holding Keeping on to every all pair. Every Keeping pair. all of them. Because Air Max has been low-key kind of popping off more. Even though they're classics, but I feel like a lot of people have been wearing Air Maxes a little bit more than often. Yeah. So does that kind of incline you to look after more pairs to purchase to sell? Or how you been thinking about it? Uh, Air, like some classic models like the Air Max 1, 95, 97, those are all like those three models and then like 90s are the more the more common ones I look for. I got you. Um, and yeah, here we just have a lot of our leftover one of pairs. What do you think about the Vapormax series? Just all um, of it. Vapormax, like as far as selling point, like probably my best seller. Okay. Honestly. Like usually they're a pretty high price point retailing and they stay around that. And then I'm usually able to get them pretty heavy on discount, so okay, it makes it makes sense to do that. Definitely, definitely. Long. Roughly, how many pairs of shoes do you kind of keep on average, just flowing through the warehouse? I mean, non-release products like we like to call these brick shoes because they're not like heat like that. Right, right. They're just your everyday Air Max shoes that normal people are wearing. Mm -hmm. So in terms of like the brick, like brick brick shoes like that, we keep like. 3,000 or so. Like, 3,000, okay. Kind of in rotation, that makes sense. That flowing. makes sense. Some people don't know, like, that also is what helps fuel the business keep the fire going. Oh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta have those shoes right. selling all the time, yep. too. Yeah. It's all the random kind of stuff. We got a lot of Cortez right there. Uh, we bought those on our outlet trip in Florida. Okay. And then. I seen y'all did y'all little tour with the U Haul. Y'all yep. was bobbing around yep. doing your yep. thing. Cross country, and then we did it again a couple weeks after. Down to do that groundwork. That's what I'm talking yep. about. Whatever it takes. What's up with these? Yeah, so don't, that's a best seller. That's a sleeper shoe. Uh oh. The what are sandals. these called? The shoots. The shoots? Yep. Oh, shoots. Yep. <laughs> yep. Those those do smack. Okay. Okay. Yeah, got, a, got a couple of those. Selling that shoe all summer. Okay, so this was my question that I had coming next, and we already found the spot. Yep. Do you do other brands than Nike and Jordan? And the question is, kind of yes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so. We had a lot more Ultra Boots, but they sell really fast um, to begin with. Mm -hmm. But Adidas like only has a couple models that actually like sell like NMDs, Ultra Boots, and kind of the anything with Boost sells for the most part. But other than that, like nothing really hits. So compared to Nike, where just about anything with a swoosh on it will hit, like Adidas is just not quite like that. Mm -hmm. So I see you got some little little itty bitties over here, and some more stuff over here. Yep. You're catering to all the crowds. Yep, anything, again, anything, we're not just limited to a couple of styles, it's really anything that we can flip, so. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm telling you right now, the market for little shoes in Christmas time, it's ridiculous. Yep. Parents will spend anything for their kids. And if you get that new hottest retro, I'm telling you right now, they're going to buy it. And you're going to be able to get double, triple, quadruple, and it literally hit the lick. Sometimes it'd be worth way more to sell a kid's shoe than an adult shoe. Uh, same release. 
Well, we got a lot. You're like, I need all those. I get it, bro. I get it. So you got the kids, you got the men's, and you got the women's. Yeah, women's shoes are some of the best selling shoes that I have, honestly. Like, yeah. Women's Air Forces sell way better than men's do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, some of the Vapor Maxes do too, so. So we're at the tail end over here, and then we're gonna go see some of the heat that yep. you got tucked off. Like, couple I know pairs. you couldn't bring everything out, but you're gonna bring a couple right. things for me. So talk about the tail end, talk about the warehouse, just the progress of everything, how you got from there to here. Eugene. I've been doing it for like four years now. Okay. Started just flipping like Supreme and clothing items and then saw the market for shoes like a couple years later and then unlimited styles coming out every week all the time not enough to to grasp every thursday like supreme was so there's really endless like possibilities and like room for profit here so just makes sense how old were you when you started uh, i was a sophomore in high school in high school yeah, sophomore and then in you elevated to a warehouse in Eugene. Yep. Yeah. And what age were you at that point? Uh, that was freshman year when I moved down to Eugene for school. So about um, 18, 19 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just 18. figuring it out. Yep. Got the warehouse, yep. feeling good. Yep. Okay. A small one, and then yeah, now this place. And then now you're here. And then how many years was that there to here? So the last one I was only in there for six months. Okay. Okay. So yeah, the lease was pretty short. We did it in January before it hit. Got you. I figured I signed a two-year lease. Luckily, found someone to like get out of it. But okay. Sorry. How old are you now? Oh, I'm 19. 19 now. Yeah. Oh, he got some time ahead of yeah. him. I'm telling you right now. That's nice. Yeah, so what's the right. plan? Two years? Five years? I don't know. I mean, as long as shoes are doing how they are, I don't got any plans to move out of it. I mean, gotcha. I notice a lot of people that get into sneakers, then start dabbling in real estate, start doing other things, and. I'm, I'm seeing you already shaking your head because you're like, I'm excited for something yeah. like that. Where, what's the goal for that? Because that's kind of where I'm at at this point now where I'm like, I'm buying properties, doing those things. So where, where do you see yourself going with that? I mean, uh, that's definitely something I'm interested in long term. But for now, it doesn't really make sense with like, because shoes, I'm just putting all my money into it. And it makes sense right now with what I'm getting for it. Right. But down the road, I could definitely see myself like getting more into real estate as it's more like passive and not as hands-on yeah, as the shoes are and shipping and all that stuff. And then as you get into it, you're going to start seeing there are a lot of similarities, except for, like you said, way more passive. And that's right. what makes it so much more worth it. Exactly. I got you. Exactly. I got you. So let's go see the heat. Let's see what you got. All right. Let me show you. All right. So you brought a couple of gems out for me. I see some bangers over here. Yeah. Yep. Talk to me. Talk to so, me. These, these are the Sager Air Force Ones. Um, definitely. I would say probably like the most unique and like one of the most rare shoes I've had in. Uh, can't really say much about these. Like just, Is that something that you would even want to get rid of? Like, yeah, it's, it's definitely it's like hard. a hard one. Yeah, no, it's one of the cooler ones I've had for sure. Okay, so you got DB stuff, mm -hmm. Oregon stuff. I'm, I'm pretty sure I understand where that's coming from. Talk to me about the background and why these may mean something to you or why you wanted to pick them up. Yeah, so these aren't just regular DBs. So He's got the special box. So these are the auction shoes. So every year, Doran Becker yep. um, does a Jordan auction where someone bids for a signed pair of the special box. Um, these happen to be that. So the only other pair in the world is with the kid himself right, right now. And then yep. so and they do two like that. Yeah. With the box. Yep. 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 Is this a wood box too? Yeah, it is. Oh, this is nice. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. The details and everything like that. Yes, one of wow. So then the Oregon there. series. And the Oregon series. Got some history at U of O. Did you go to Yeah, yeah. So I used I used to go to U of O until I dropped out um, a couple months ago. Okay. Doesn't make sense with like how this is going right now. Makes sense. But yeah, like the U of O stuff got some people down there holding it down for sure. So sure. you're gonna try to complete the whole that. set, or uh, what you gonna do? I mean, these are already sold, but. <laughs> That's how it usually is. I mean, I would love to complete a set. This is about as close to a set as I'm going to get, I think. Okay, okay. What size are you? Oh, I'm a nine and a half. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, for peas especially, one. it's all the football players. These are all nine and a half. Exactly. That's why they're rare. Go ahead, tell us about your IG. Tell us about, you said a website coming soon. Yep, website, website coming soon. Website coming too. soon. Uh, tell us about everything. Go ahead, shout so your stuff out. So, Instagram's west.coast.streetwear. And then you can find all like the pictures of the cool all the release, all the release shoes in one photo. Mm -hmm. um, shout out different stuff on there. Um, I run two groups too. 
if you want to learn how to do this kind of stuff. West Notify and West Bricks on Instagram too. Should be easy to find. And then yeah, we're just starting a website this week so you can actually come shop with us and not just see all these shoes and like not know where to find them. Right, right. That's gonna be westcoaststreetwear.shop. So. Make sure you hit the link down below in the description. Check out all his stuff. I got it all linked for you guys down there. And then once the website gets dropped, we'll add that in there as well. And then stay tuned for video number two because I'm telling you right now, that's where we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. Talk about the details. I try to educate you on a couple things. Learn how to make a couple dollars if you wanna do the same thing yourself. My name is DJ, I'm signing out. I got to go, I'm gone. Peace. There we go. All right. All right. <laughs> I got it.